Everything is made up of elements, either mixed together or combined as compounds. But what does that tell us about how pure something is? I hope this ethanol is pure. It won't run on anything else. In scientific terms, pure means something very precise. I've sent Femi out to find the purest drink she can. I come to Buxton. What better place to find a pure drink of water? It's the source of a natural mineral water. But is the water really pure? Well, the locals think it is. Well, I think it's good stuff. It's nice. Very good, very pure. Interesting. When people talk about purity, they use words like natural, clean and good. But in science, pure is something very different. I'm going to find out if this mineral water is scientifically pure. The water's found under the Derbyshire Hills, and that's where my investigation starts, with cave expert Alan Walker. Well, caves can help us by giving us clues about what's in the local water. Yeah, but even with this torch, all I can see are stalactites. That's clue number one. Stalactites are formed by dripping water over thousands of years. The drip of water dries up and leaves behind tiny crystals of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, a compound. Ah, so already we know that the local water must contain calcium. And the band of orange on the wall indicates that there's iron in the water that's passed over this area. So that could be in the water too. Correct. Alan showed me examples of other substances like manganese left behind by the water. It looks like there could be much more than just the elements hydrogen and oxygen in the local water. <laughs> 